back with the New York Musical Theatre Festival. Joining us now is producing director Isaac Robert Hurwitz. Thanks for taking your time out of your busy schedule. So tell me, who are the people in this festival? Are they new to the scene or have they been around a while? They really run the gamut from people who are brand new to the scene who have never done a show before, as it turns out. I've never done this before. You know, this is my first time, it's my first theatre production outside of, of school, you know? And um, to me, this is, this is, this is the most important thing that I've, I've done in my career. This is like a new, exciting, fun chapter in my life, being here in New York. I've only lived here for a week. I'm a total New Yorker now. First time written, first time directing. To the most experienced people, from uh, Oscar winners, Grammy Award winners, Tony Award winners, um, people who are real pro experienced professionals. I've been doing, uh, doing this for a very long time. Broadway audiences know me from the Will Rogers Follies, and I was nominated for a Tony Award, and then I played Ula in the original production of The Producers, for which I won a Tony Award. I'm a composer lyricist. Currently, um, I have the show Wicked running on Broadway. Produced on Broadway, um, I started with Sam Shepard's Barry Child, uh, and included The Last Night of Ballyhoo, for which we won a Tony, best play. After a show is selected for the festival, what does it take to bring it all the way to opening night? Well, when we tell shows that they're selected, uh, many of them don't have their full creative teams involved yet. Sometimes shows come to us and it's just the writers. Uh, and we say, quick, get a, get a team together. And uh, they start doing that. And we help shows find people if they're missing them. Other shows are already pulled together with a creative team, with a producer. Um, and for them, the next step is pulling together a cast. Uh, we do a festival-wide casting call. There she is. We're looking for a wide array of talents and skills and, and you know, it, it, if, I, I feel like if someone is talented, there's probably a place for them to fit in somewhere, you know, just given the array of things that we're looking for. And I think in the middle of the summer when most people are gone or out of town and, or working and to, you know, to have nearly 300 people show up on a day like this is a big testament to the fact that, that people really want to be a part of this and uh, really see it as something good and, and viable in the community. We've got about a thousand performers and artists all crammed into three weeks here and this is a celebration of everything that the musical theater can be. Uh, and it's a, it's a really broad and diverse array of talent. And we put them all together. So that's a, that's a really uh, an environment in which new things can happen, new types of shows can happen, uh, risks can be taken. And ultimately that will, I hope, help rejuvenate this, uh, this industry, which is a really important part of the American art scene. Thank you so much, Isaac, for sharing your insight. And now we turn the stage to country star Cherie Austin and Devin May with a song from the Ballad of Bonnie and Clyde. Dear Clyde Barrow. Now it appears it might be years before you see the sun. I just hope you change your habits so you're not locked up again. But I'm not sure you're sorry for the mess of deeds you done. Other men would learn their lesson, but then you ain't other men. And I don't know why I'm writing to a man who steals for fun. But I find I keep on thinking about your grinning and your gun. Bonnie, thank you for your letters. I've been thinking how we met. There was something about them blue eyes that I can't seem to forget. There was something in the air. play. I, I read it a few months ago and I was surprised by the humor in it, but the, it's also very touching, you know, because these two people just got caught up, I think, in a situation that just got way out of hand. And people loved them. I mean, it's just a pair of criminals. They killed people and people loved them. So it's kind of sick, dysfunctional, but 
We still love them anyway. There's a lot I want to see. Festival was brought to you by your local tri-state Cadillac dealers.